All right, everyone, here we go with a Friday reading. Let's do it. Um, nothing about this pre-shuffle surprises me. Uh, I shuffle before the reading, pre-shuffle, right, pre-reading. Just some surface energy. It doesn't surprise me based on yesterday's uh, new moon in Taurus reading. And again, like I've been saying, all the energies of May are sort of adding up. They're, they're building up. They're forming. It's like a recipe, right? Let's see what's going on here. This is, uh, in the Friday reading, it's one card for each sign, plus a pre-shuffle today. One card for each sign, how your person's thinking or feeling. The, how the income, reading the incoming energy, so it's likely your person, because you're here uh, watching the reading. But they, you know, again, roles can be reversed. Uh, what they're thinking and feeling. All right, no clarifiers. Tomorrow, we pull the week ahead, and we're going to talk about that actually here in a moment. All right, I'm not going to over explain the reading. Watch everything that's on the table. There's text in the description at the top that talks about why there's no timestamps here because you're all connected. All right, that said, uh, you're part of a cycle. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is technically timeless because you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. I'm going to talk a little bit. I just said that the energies of May are, are adding together. Right? They're forming like this magic secret potion recipe. We'll add a little bit of Jupiter and Taurus. We'll add a little bit of new moon and Taurus. You know, that Pluto retrograde, just a pinch of that. Some eye of Newt, right? I mean, whatever it is, they're all sort of, it's all kind of coming together. It's part of why I said this month is magic. One of those energies, which is coming up, I'm going to pull a reading on it on Sunday, but it's, it's actually happening on Saturday. Uh, so it'll definitely be a part of our weekly reading. Is Mars moving into Leo, okay? Mars moving into Leo, I'll just phrase it this way. We'll talk about it when we do the reading. But I want you to keep it in mind for this reading and tomorrow's weekly reading as well. Um, so I'll say it here. It's about, it, it's, it's going, it's adding an element of making all, everyone, but we'll talk about the runner, making the runners and everyone uh, strive for something better. Strive to be a better person. Take steps to become better. Make their life better. Okay? And it's, one, it, it, it's a strong aspect of Mars and Leo with the surrounding energies around it. Okay? Um, very powerful. Here we go. You'll see it right here. in the. I mentioned that because it helps me explain the pre-shuffle to you. Eight cups. See this guy? Walking away from eight broken cups toward nine cups. Yeah. It's crossed by the devil. That is the epitome. The devil crossing the eight of cups is the epitome of someone striving for something better. This is, this is making this person sad. It's not good. This is shit. I can do better. It's like moving, right? Moving from a, a better, from a shitty house to a better house, kind of a thing along those lines. Right there's the king of cups. It's about opening up emotionally, right? It's crossed by nine cups. And underneath that is the page of swords. I think some spying energy is going to pick up from the emperor who definitely, the divine masculine, who definitely wants to talk, there's your energy attached to the King of Swords again, definitely wants to talk to the King of Swords, but in another layer of energy, this emperor is also faced with some truths, which we talked about, especially in the extended for yesterday's uh, new moon in Taurus reading. Let's shuffle the deck and let's do a Friday reading. Let's do it. Here we go. Give me the soulmate cycle right now, universe. All right. What's the runner thinking and feeling? Friday reading. One card for each sign. It knows what I want. Right, let's do it. Let's see where we go here. All right. Come on. Overall energy. I can always tell when I'm getting close. Overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table. Told you. I can always tell. Is the King of Pentacles. It's very, very. You talk about striving for something better. Right? This is... Again, this person's had a lot of fake happiness, a lot of rely, relying on pentacles and things like that to make them happy, and they're not. This is a, this is a very real energy coming off of this. So it, it's someone who is going towards this. What they're thinking and feeling right now, it's just they're sitting in a stable energy. This is the overall energy. It's the environmental energy of, this, of the cycle right now. It's King of Pentacles. Very stable. Very nice. You can hear my voice change, too. You can see. It's very stable. All right. Our story begins with Aries, which the eye in the universe just called number one. Slice number one of the 12 slice pie. And it ends with Pisces, which the eye in the universe know as number 12. The 12th slice of the pie. You can call it whatever you want. 
Doesn't matter, I'm not your astrologer, all right? We're just splitting it up here because that's what people on YouTube are used to, these sign names and stuff like that. Okay, first slice of the pie, Aries position. Empress, listen, I had an emperor in the pre-shuffle. I got, I got an emperor who wants to come talk to the king of swords, which, which had your energy reflecting off of it. But I got somebody who's facing some serious truths about needing to walk away from those eight broken cups, for sure. Empress, this is attraction. This is nice. What they're thinking and feeling about you, is they, for all of you, because our story begins here. It's the first slice of the damn pie of the soulmate cycle, cut into 12 slices. Major attraction here. Also, the runner's uh, feminine energy is up very high. Maybe it's not even balanced between masculine and feminine in the incoming energy. It's a little, the empress is a little louder than that emperor, mm. which is good. It's what we want. This is a good place to start. It's a good place to start. All right. I said there's a snow. I said in a recent cure for cancer, which are all signs, that, that this is a, there's a snowball's chance in hell here. These energies are forming one hell of a magic potion, right? It's like love potion number nine. And I'm telling you, it's all coming together. Uh, Taurus, second position, Knight of Cups. See, I'm not making this shit up. We go from, uh, gotta have it. Got, I mean, even in frumpy pajamas, it's very bangable. Right, it's lovely, it's beautiful energy. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's nice, very attractive. Uh, yeah, um, what somebody's thinking and feeling, I think somebody's dreaming this more than anything else, right? Somebody wants to come sweep you off their feet, off your feet, off their feet, right? Somebody wants to come in and do that. that but there, it, it feels more like thought to me than it does actual communication. I'm not drawn to the blue background, which would be throat chakra. I'm just seeing the outline. The energy is just kind of carving the outline of the knight and the cup. That's usually a dreamy kind of thing for me. Um, I know that in the Taurus angle, this person wishes they'd done things differently. Okay, for a good number of you, this person didn't just run. You were with them or something along those lines, and they took off for greener pastures. Not for all of you, but, but for those of you that they, they really regret that. They dream about coming back together, and right now, all they can feel is Empress energy. So this doesn't surprise me. Gemini, third position. Something's about to happen here. I talk a lot in this Gemini position. It doesn't matter what your sign is. If this resonates with you, it resonates. If how I talk about e any position resonates. I'm not your astrologer. All right, This isn't your horoscope. Um, this is straight up energy reading, really. Uh, this tower, uh, something's about to happen here. I talk a lot on this Gemini angle about somebody who feels trapped. right? But they got themselves convinced that they're trapped. Trapped in something they can't get out of and you show up and they see what they could have and they long for it, all of that. Something is changing here. There's some sort of, I want to call it an emotional breakdown. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens tomorrow in the, in the weekly reading when I ask what actions they're likely to take. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write down that you got the tower. Um, what are they thinking and feeling? Somebody's having a bit of it, a, a breakdown of some kind. I feel it as an emotional breakdown more than anything else. Okay, which is good. This could lead to something. Usually the tower does, right? Leads to a star, right? So there you go. Cancer. Everybody here, honorary Cancerians. This whole cycle is sponsored by Cancerian energy. The North Node was in Cancer when it started. That's why it's a very difficult cycle. Cancer, very emotional, very deep. And some of these runners shut down for so long, they can't deal with all that emotion. They don't like, it's like a fish who doesn't like the water they've been put in. It's like taking a fish out of a, out of a body of water and sticking it in a pool of rubbing alcohol to some of these runners. It really is. This Cancer energy rubs them the wrong way. Uh, it's very emotional. It, it is. It's a very emotional cycle. Um, and we've seen it with a lot of the non-runners and how they reacted to it. It's usually it's stronger than most cycles. Um, but let's see. It bookends the Empress. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Again, there's a snowball's chance in hell here. There really is. That someone who never did anything is about to do something. And this whole top row talks about that. This is that brave, impulsive action. This is that energy of the new moon in Taurus, which we're sitting in the energy of right now. Um, it's, it's that energy that I talked about in the new moon in Taurus reading, where you get a thought, you get a notion, you, it's something you can do, you just do it. There's no Eight of Swords. In fact, in your connection in that Taurus new moon reading, the Eight of Swords fell on the floor reversed, and I remember that. And I wash these readings. I remember that. That's how strong that is. There's no resistance here. Shit's happening. I mean, again, 
the Empress, right? I mean, it's it's the most attractive energy. All right. Let's see where we go here. Uh, Leo. Mm. I did not get to a Leo soap opera this week. I, I won't next week because the monthly readings are coming up. So it'll be the Leo soap opera for June. Let's see where we're at. Seven Swords. This person. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if you identify, no matter what sign you are, every fucking reading is an all signs reading. Okay? I just, if I pull on a sign, I'm just taking one little slice of a pie and putting a magnifying glass to it. That's all. I don't like doing those readings because I would rather look at the whole. The all signs readings are far more powerful because we're flying over with a helicopter instead of stuck on the ground. When you're on the ground, you can only see so much. That's why the police send a helicopter up when they're in a car chase, right? So we're in the helicopter when we do an all signs reading. We're stuck on the ground in our little cop car when we pull on an individual sign or do a, a Leo soap opera reading or something like that. With the exception of a cancer reading, which is always all signs because of the cycle and it being sponsored by cancer. Anyway, if this Leo angle identifies, if you identify with it at all, this person is so fucking full of shit. I swear to God, I don't know who this energy is. The universe is trying to help this person beyond belief and they still just, I wish I could clarify this. I will, what are they thinking and feeling about you? They're pretending you don't exist, okay? They're pretending you don't exist and all the while they're spying you. I promise you if you're, if you're someone who has stats or something, if, if, your per, if your person pops in and looks at something you do online and you can see that their little town comes up in the stats, you will see them. Uh, or you will have this week one or the other. Uh, honest to God, it's, it's just phony ass, just unreal. And the yellow is a match for the Empress. They're, they're comp he's completely drawn to those two swords. So they're pretending you don't exist in this angle, and uh, but you do. But they're they're spying. There's that spying energy here, right? And it's because you're irresistible. You're different. Why are you so different? Why can't I shake you, person? Why can't I just sit in the toxin I'm in? Well, because. Because you're part of a soulmate cycle and it's time for growth, right? Virgo, seven pentacles. Um, you do have an energy attached to you. You might be a runner from a while back. Uh, they are giving, they're thinking about you. Okay, what are they thinking and feeling about you? They're thinking about you. That's all I could say from this angle. Um, possibly waiting for a moment, possibly hoping for a serendipitous run in an event a happenstance kind of a thing I, I don't know there could be maybe you have friends in common and there's a party that might be coming up or they're trying to talk somebody into throwing a party. it could be any of that right i mean i'm not a psychic it's just energy reading but it, it's just what this guy's doing if he's thinking right thinking 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 so somebody is thinking about you hard you may pick up on that they may pop into your head in into your dreams you may run into a mutual friend it's possible the universe will show you who's thinking about you. All right, you'll you'll figure it out. You know, you'll definitely feel this, no doubt. Uh, Libra, three of Pentacles. I got an energy that is working out some kind of plan to come and talk to you. Now I know I always I know fucking Libra, right? I'm always you respect communication every time. I know it's this person. They're a flake. That's the only way I can phrase it. I don't know them. But this energy is flaky, all right? But now they're trying to work something out. They're thinking about you. They're coming up with a plan, right? Coming up with a plan. How can we work together? How can we whatever, right? I don't know. That's what I got. Somebody is coming up with a plan. That's all. This reading is what they're thinking and feeling, and that's what's there. Hot Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. <sighs> same thing. It's the same fucking energy. Somebody is, it, it's, somebody wants to give to this, yes, but they're coming up with a plan. It, it's, the, the energy is actually out of balance. Someone attached to you feels that you're, I don't know, better than, I don't want to say better than them. That's not right. I'll, I'll stick with what I usually say to you. They feel, they're intimidated by you in some way. So they're trying to, it's like an energy, it is just an example Again, I'm just reading energy. They come in as feelings and I translate it into words. It's somebody who's like trying to come up with a great gift to give somebody, right? So they, wanna, they don't just want to show up, 
because they, they feel small next to you, so they want to show up with some kind of a gift of some kind. It's, it's that type of energy. It's very similar to what I just said to Libra here, okay? In this Libra angle. All right. All right. Sagittarius. Sometimes separate from the cycle, sometimes not. Ace of Wands. Um, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the word again. Something very because all I'm drawn to on this card is this hand and this magic cloud here. Some some sort of chance run in, serendipitous event, something along those lines is about to happen, and it's going to present you with an opportunity. It's up to you whether you take it. Someone here, but it's. It's not, it's going to seem to you like it's happenstance, like it just happened out of nowhere. Someone planned it. Okay? All right, that, that's all I can say. That's, that's what's here. I, it is technically part of the soulmate cycle. So it might be somebody you have a soul connection with. I don't know. Um, it's planned. It's somebody set it up. This, these could be ancestral energies, passed on loved ones, etc. in the 5D who are conspiring to, because 5D energy manipulates the 3D very easily, okay? Um, so, uh, I, I, I use the word 5D here on YouTube all the time, because, you know, it's kind of like what everyone's used to. I usually, in my own life, I, I say the ether. That, that's what I say. So, I would say the ether can manipulate the damn 3D very easily, right? That feels more comfortable for me to say, but I say 5D because, you know, it's, it's what everybody kind of knows here on YouTube. So it could be that too, but whatever it is, it benefits you in some way. It, it's up to you whether or not you notice it or do anything about it. All right, Capricorn, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Uh, there's that intimidation factor again. I, I'm going to stick with what I often say about this angle number 10 here, uh, Capricorn. There's a conversation that was supposed to happen, okay? And it's, look at the yellow on the card here. Yellow here and yellow here. It is. It's feedbacking off of all of this, all right? But it's also feedbacking for some reason off the Knight of Wands because he's wearing this yellow outfit here, okay? It is feedbacking off of that too. Um, I don't normally show you that. I'm showing you so you have some other cards to look at. Uh, this is a conversation that was supposed to happen, but somebody kind of chickened out or it just didn't happen or it didn't happen the way it was supposed to. It, somebody here is, is intimidated. I don't want to say intimidated. They're not intimidated. They just, again, I'm going to go ahead and say they see you as above them in some way. They see you as being all set because it's my queen of pentacles. She got everything she needs. This is your energy, right? Um, you're just somebody's put you on a pedestal and that's why this conversation isn't happening and it may not seem like they've put you on a pedestal in, in the 3d in, in real life it may not seem like it they might you know you might think otherwise but what's going on inside in the emotions of this person is you're on a pedestal whenever we put somebody on a pedestal we second guess everything we're going to say to them we we, we don't want to say anything that might risk things. We, we sometimes can be intimidated by them. We can be afraid to call. They don't want to hear from me. You know, that kind of thing. It's why, you know, it's why if, uh, celebrities, for example, have trouble with friends who put them on pedestals. You don't want that because they'll never give you good advice. They'll never say anything. They don't want to risk the friendship, right? They want to, they, they want to keep dropping your name all over town. So it's that kind of energy. All right, so somebody's put you on a pedestal. It's why that conversation isn't happening or isn't happening the way it's supposed to. But they are thinking heavily about it and trying not to at the same time. Trying to run away, this is an in and out energy. And this is the out. This is the in. All right. Aquarius. High Priestess. Again, there's a snowball's chance in hell here. Trust me. There is. With the Knight of Wands and the Cancer position and this whole top row, there is. And I, I said it again, I think, in the New Moon and Taurus reading. Aquarius got the High Priestess. Aquarius, you are radiating some kind of energy. It, it, it's unreal. You are the High Priestess, male or female. It doesn't matter. You are... Uh, actually, I'm going to change this. You're the Oracle, okay? You're the, the, the warlock on the hill. You're the Oracle. You're the one everybody is drawn to for some reason. It's interesting that she is wearing light blue 
Somebody asked me about this the other day, in real life, not online, about colors and wearing shirts and things like that. Uh, they always wear black shirts, and I suggested they stop that because black shirt screams stay away from me. They were wondering why people, no one ever approaches them, why people move away from them on the sidewalk. Well, if you, they wear a black shirt every day, every day, every day. It, it, tells, it's, it tells people to stay away. It says keep away. It does. Um, and there's a lot of gurus who talk about that same topic out there on YouTube. Um, I suggested light blue uh, to this person. Buy some light blue t-shirts and things like that. Light blue radiates the similar energy to white where it's, it's very, you know, it just, it, it, it's, it's beautiful. It reflects back all kinds of wonderful rainbow energy. But it's a little more calming. It's a little more soothing. And uh, sure enough, it works. Now people don't move away from them on the sidewalk, apparently. It's interesting that she's wearing that light blue color that I suggested for this person. Um, it's, it's, why, what's a, it's a big way why scrubs are often a similar color to this. It's very calming to the patient. Yeah. At the end of the day, whether they realize it or not, it actually is. Um, you are someone that people want to know under this energy. Okay, there's a lot of people thinking about you, is what I'm saying. I can't, I can't pinpoint it to one runner or not. All right, and this will apply to anybody who takes my advice on that color. Find some way to wear that color under this energy for the next couple of months at the very least. Find some reason to wear light blue or a pastel blue, something along those lines. Not navy blue, not dark blue, just that right there. That color. Okay? It's very important. But it doesn't matter if in the Aquarian angle, if this, re if this um, resonates with you, you're already radiating that energy. And it's, it's, it's a calming effect. It's nice. You have an effect on people, a very attracting effect. I think for some of you Aquarians, you can get away with wearing the black shirt. It won't matter. You got this light blue. People just see it as light blue. You know, it's like that. Uh, as far as a runner goes, yeah, I'm sure they're thinking about you. No doubt about it. Pisces, our story began with, with the Empress, right? It ends here with number 12, so we definitely have a connection here. And you're also always tied to number five, the Leo position. So we got a seven of swords energy here. And this doesn't surprise me. Chariot, it's what I've been telling you. And it's yellow too in the background. Look, you're tied to this and this. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, and a little bit of this too with that yellow. Yep, same thing. Um, and this, somebody sees you as, again, somebody sees you as, as being somebody they want to know. You see, you're all set. You, you've got your soul nurturing energy. You've got someone charging in here. An emperor, a balanced emperor on some level. There is some deception to it. There might be some selfishness. I've been telling you this. I don't know if this is a person you ever thought you'd hear from. I have no idea. But what they're, they have worked out some kind of plan and they're about to put that plan into motion. There's determination around this chariot. All right, that's the reading. Let's have the universe add it all up with three cards and a bottom card. Let's talk to the witches. All right, let's do it. These energies, as May gets going and as we get into early June, I'm going to start, and you notice in this reading, I'm taking my time as I read the energy because it's thick. It's like a really, it's like driving on a, on a, uh, because it's all adding together, right? So we're, it's, you know, like when you make a stew, for example, it gets thick. You start adding the starchy vegetables and things like that. It starts to get thicker. It starts to get harder to stir. Well, that's what's happening here. Okay. Except it's a magic potion. All we're missing is eye of newt. And I'm telling you, but I'm taking my time with it. Cause it's a bit like driving on a foggy morning, right? You just slow down and you plant your face right up against the windshield because you can't really see too well. You know, it's a bit like that. Um, so it's tricky. So those of you that pull cards who watch me, sometimes I know you guys pull for yourselves or some of you might have a channel. I don't fucking know who's watching me. Be careful with this energy. Don't just take this. A lot of times you could just read intuitively and pull the first thing that pops into your head. And a lot of you read like that. You're not going to get away with it as we move into June, okay? It'll start to dissipate out as we move to toward the end of June, but be careful. Give it a second look and then give it a third look before you open your mouth, all right? So that's kind of why 
this reading may have taken a little longer than a normal Friday reading because I'm trying to be careful because I got thousands of people watching me and I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. I don't want to say something wrong. Um, it's okay if I'm wrong, but if I can be right, I try to be. All right. So that's just a little tip if you're pulling any cards in this uh, whatever. And the same applies to your, if you're just uh, a very empathic person, uh, check your impressions that you get. Okay? Check your impressions. Just do it the same way. Check it again. Check it again. Like math homework. Make sure it adds up. All right. Three cards and a bottom card. Let's have the universe add all this up. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. You could bet your ass I'll be taking my time with tomorrow's weekly reading, too. So if you're impatient, you might want to skip it. Because <laughs> you're all connected. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. I knew. Very important card. One of the bet finest energies of the Empress. And then we started with the Empress. Yeah. The environmental energy around you. Okay? This is what someone's thinking and feeling about you. Is the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you. they feel you as that. Which means they feel you as this, but it's the Queen of Pentacles aspect that's making you so attractive. That's both good and bad. It's good and it's nice to be attractive. It's bad in the sense of usually when someone's, because Pentacles can be superficial, right? So usually when someone's attracted to somebody because of this Queen of Pentacles energy, the Queen of Pentacles has everything she needs, he or she. She's all set. And that bothers this person. Why are you okay? Why are you doing so well? Why are you thriving out there? It bothers them. All right. And that's, that's selfish. That's what I kind of what I told uh, Pisces here. The, in angle 12, I see someone charging in. All these runners, you know, they're working out some kind of plan, doing something, whatever. Right. But it's, it's for them. And that really pisses me off a little bit. Okay. Even if, even with your energy, the DF energy reflecting his King of Swords a lot lately, everybody wants to come and talk to the King of Swords. The King of Swords has truth. The King of Swords can make everything okay for, the, for, for them, right? There's, there's no reciprocation back to the King of Swords. So you see what I'm saying? So it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit of somebody coming towards you because you're not coming towards them, God damn it. Why? Why are they all right? Why is she cool sitting in that chair? That's the environmental energy. It doesn't mean you can't turn it around when they show up because you are the empress, right? And you are soul nurturing. Three cards. Let's go. Full. Yeah. Come on. The full. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that new moon in Taurus energy. It's that. Think about it. I think I, 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 it's possible. It's something I can do. I'm doing it. Boom. They just do it. I'm telling you, this energy is adding together. I, all we're missing is Eye of Newt. We really are. Uh, and some bat wing. We need a bat wing. Shit. All right. Will an eclectus wing help? I can pull one off Flem over here. Oh, he just he just turned around now. No, you're not. All right. Uh, Queen of Pentacles crossing the uh, in our center card here, the King of Wands. It's, it's everything I just told you, isn't it? This is a selfish king, isn't it? Selfish energy. So it's everything I already told you. All right. I'm reading a lot of energy off of this. The environmental energy tells me a lot. And how they're behaving in it is exactly what I just said. And, but they are coming. There is a leap of faith. This new moon and Taurus energy it combined with Mars Leo, which makes you want better, want to move up and want to move up in life, right? And for these runners, it's this emotion thing that they don't have that now they're feeling. I saw that with the Knight of Cups. What's red with the fool? See? Knight of Swords. Yeah. It, it, they got something. They, they're coming towards you. They got something to say, but they're coming towards you because you're this. All right, You're, it, this would be better if this was the Queen of Cups, but it's not. It's the Queen of Pentacles. You got it. She got everything she needs. She's perfectly fine. She's not waiting on anybody, you know. And these runners are very ego based. So it's like, well, why the fuck ain't she coming up? At, why, why, why aren't they worried? Right? What's what's going on here? Right? So they're coming in, King of Wands, very for for reasons for selfish reasons, and that's fine. It doesn't mean you can't turn it around. They got something they want to say. Okay. And they're all thinking about saying it. So what are they thinking and feeling about you? They're thinking about you intently and wanting to come in and do something about it. Coming up with plans over here in this area, etc. That's your reading. Stay tuned tomorrow for the weekly reading. And that, that week is dominated by Mars and Leo. Okay, it really is. All right. Stay tuned for that. 
We do the same thing, but we ask what actions they're likely to take and we clarify. All right? and, I, and I will be taking my time for reasons I already explained. So if you're impatient, just skip it. You'll, you'll miss a lot because if I'm digging in the energy and taking my time to sift through it, I'm going to find some little nuggets. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.